The company that created Scalectric was Mini Models Limited, founded by Fred Francis in 1947. The company was based in London and made template toys and models such as the Mini Type Typewriter and Simple Cars and Lorries. In 1952, Mini Models moved from London to a larger factory in Hampshire to meet the growing demand for toy cars. In 1952, Mini Models introduced the Scale X range. This was a range of toy racing cars with clockwork motors which were activated by pulling out the steering wheel. The first model introduced was the Jaguar XK120 in 1952. These 1 in 32 scale models had some unique features including a clockwork motor which wasn't wound by a key but by a fifth wheel device. This wheel is found under the chassis beneath the front axle and works by pressing the car down on a hard surface and being pulled backwards. This wound the clockwork motor and when the car was released it shot forward at speed. The Scale X range expanded to include six cars. Later cars also featured a steerable front axle that could be set at an angle and the cars would then run in an arc. At the peak of its popularity, over 7,000 Scale X models were being produced every week. The cars were improved in 1955 with the Startex range. These were essentially the same Scale X cars but used a cord winding system. The first and most popular was the Sunbeam Alpine. But by 1956 the novelty of clockwork racing cars had worn off and sales began to fall. The future of its company and its 100 employees was under threat. In an attempt to revive his company's flagging fortunes, Fred Francis began to look at alternatives. He was inspired by seeing model car racing tracks, but wanted to develop the player's control of the car so as to increase the sense of competition. He experimented by putting small electric motors into Scale X cars and running them on model railway track. Next he introduced rubber slotted track and gave the cars a gimbal wheel to pick up the electric current in the groove of the track. Original tin plate cars had one hard plastic rear wheel and one rubber tired wheel which gave different handling characteristics for left and right corners. Power was supplied by batteries hidden in a little cardboard hut with players having their own on off buttons to control their cars. With the tiny Scale X cars becoming electrified the name was combined to become Scale X Trick. The new electric toy was unveiled at the Harrogate Toy Fair in 1957 to immediate acclaim. It appealed to both adults and children, combining speed, competition and the glamour of Formula One motor racing. Demand for the toy was immense and the Mini Models factory struggled to keep up with the orders. The original version of the track was made from rubber with thin vertical electrical connectors and held together with separate metal clips. This track had white lines between the lanes. Track produced during the Mini Models era was slightly glossy and curved sections had side protrusions to allow for the attachment of a supplied crash barrier. The earliest track had a dedicated power straight for the connections to each lane. Scalextric was sold as a set containing enough track to make a circuit, with necessary power supply and throttles for two cars. The cars were based on real vehicles from Formula One and other motorsport. In 1958, Mini Models Limited was sold to Line Brothers, who operated as Triang. Under new management, the popularity of Scalextric only grew. In 1960, plastic bodies replaced the original tin plate, and in 1961, production moved to a new factory. The track was updated, now being made of plastic. Electrical connections were through wider horizontal pins, and the track was held together by two integrated circular, spoon-shaped pins and sockets moulded into each end. It's now known as Classic Track, and it's compatible with another leading brand, SCX. And in fact, several companies now make track that's compatible with Scalectric's track. By 1964, Scale Electric was being advertised as the most complete model motor racing system in the world. Owners Triang were in financial difficulties by the early 1970s and in 1971 declared bankruptcy. Many of the assets, including Scale Electric, were purchased by Hornby, the famous makers of model trains, who still own it today. A number of novelty sets were produced over the years, for example horse racing sets and 360 degree sets. The latter, produced sporadically since the 1960s, have a specially made guide that enables the car to run back the way it's come by spinning through 180 degrees. 
Since the 1960s, Scale Electric has offered TV and film tie-ins, beginning with the now rare and valuable James Bond 007 set, featuring an Aston Martin with action figures as shown in the film Goldfinger. Even the baddie car in this set, the Mercedes, has action figures of its own, whilst the set also sported many other unique action points and props. It was some time before Scale X Trick returned to licensing in the 1970s with the amazing Spider-Man cartoon series, which had special liveried TR7 cars and a white track. Then in the 1980s came tracks based on the TV shows Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Power Rangers, Knight Rider and Tim Burton's Batman films. Since then, the franchises have grown to include The Dukes of Hazard, Batman Begins, The Simpsons, The Transformers Movie, James Bond's 007 films Quantum of Solace, Skyfall, Goldeneye and Spectre, Starskin Hutch, The Fast and the Furious, The Italian Job, both the original and the remake, Top Gear, Star Wars and the Pixar Disney movie Toy Story. Scalextric has also recently licensed the Need for Speed brand from Electronic Arts and has produced a set based on the popular video game series. Micro Scalextric was launched in 1994 at the Olympia Toy Fair. It became available to the public in October of that year and used a much smaller track geometry to the standard Scalextric product. Many of the Micro MR1 models were rebadged products manufactured by the Marchon company. In 1995, again at the Olympia Toy Fair, a new track system was introduced along with new vehicles. At the same time, Scale Electric Micro MR1 was rebranded as Micro Scale Electric. The Micro Scale Electric's range is aimed at children's four years of age or older and has a scale of 1 in 64, half that of Scale Electric. There's also a My First Scale Electric range, aimed at three-year-olds. There have been tie-ins to brands such as Looney Tunes over the years. In 2001, Scale Electric Track underwent a major redesign to make it easy to assemble. The new design is known as Scale Electric Sports and can be connected to the original track using special adapter pieces. The new track was designed to be compatible with all earlier 1 in 32 cars. In 2004, Scale Electric Sports Digital was introduced, with which up to four digital cars can be raced in a single slot. The cars can change from one slot to another using special slot lane change tracks, the lane change or otherwise being controlled by a button on the throttle. Sport digital cars will run on analog tracks without modification, but analog cars require a digital decoder to be installed before they can run on a digital layout. Many of the original scale electric cars can be fitted with a digital decoder, depending on available space within the body shell. Performance of converted cars on a digital system can vary, but enthusiasts have been able to successfully convert a wide range of cars, both from scale electric and also other brands. As use of scale electric digital has increased, a community has established itself where users have developed enhanced power base functionality, fuel management and timing systems for increased realism. In 2009, BBC Top Gear presenter James May announced plans to recreate a full-length Brooklyn's racing track using scale electric tracks and cars. This was undertaken with a team of 350 volunteers building the track, navigating ponds, roads and a business park, closely following the route of the old Brooklyn's track. This event broke the Guinness World Record for the longest ever scale electric track in the world, intended to measure the original 2.7 miles of the original Brooklyn circuit, but in reality recording 2.95 miles in length because of the need to navigate modern features that block the original course. In late 2010, Scale Electric released a revised six-car digital power base that includes a separate screen which aids setup and also displays race information such as lap times. The company worked closely with customers when developing the new system. The result includes features such as yellow flag options for dealing with crashed cars, ghost cars to race against which can run and change lanes automatically, and the ability to race in analog mode for older models that haven't been converted to digital. 
Scalectric Start was also released in 2010 and was intended to be a basic track for children. It has only one type of straight and corner and each set can be made into various layouts. The cars included in the set are fantasy models which reduce manufacturers licensing costs and the converter track piece is available to allow cars to cross from start track to sport and back again. A big thank you to all my patrons for supporting me. To get early advert free access to new videos or to appear in the credits, please consider supporting me using the Patreon link below from just $1 or 80p a month and hit that subscribe button to get notified of new videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.